Madden 24 is coming out really soon and today in this video we're going to look at some of the new gameplay animations that are going to be going into the new game. Last year around this time we got an early look at some of the gameplay animations via the motion capture company that does the animations for EA Sports and this year they've been posting a ton of content on their TikTok once again so we're going to check out what's coming to the game in terms of gameplay. It's obviously not going to be all of the new animations but we get a look at some of the bigger ones and as of today we are two weeks away away from the Madden 24 beta which means we're actually less than two weeks away from a lot of the big information coming out about the game via EA Sports so make sure you subscribe with the bell icon on because any day now we're going to be getting a ton of info straight from EA about Madden 24 and you're not going to want to miss it so we're going to take a look at some of these animations the first one we have here looks like a new hurdle animation with the defender trying to take out the legs of the runner and the runner hurdling the defender we don't really have a ton of good hurdle animations in the game there's a couple you don't really see and play out too often but no problem with adding more of those it's something you do see quite often in the nfl these days now this one right here looks like a receiver maybe going for a catch that's a little bit out of reach he's jumping back for it maybe and he's being undercut and hit in midair we know last year on the newer consoles they added a ton of new midair collisions and tackles to the game which we hadn't seen in quite a while so it looks like they're still going to be adding more of those i'm always a fan of adding more animations because the animations really aren't the problem with the game the problem problem is how they play out the physics aspect of it which they're still kind of working on but you need more animations to pull from because if you have less animations that's when you get the interactions where it seems forced or you're getting sucked into something that just doesn't make sense the more possible animations and interactions you can pull from the more realistic outcomes you can get the problem with Madden over some of these years is the lack of animations in actuality because that's why you would see just weird things that didn't make sense so right here we're seeing it looks like just another Another little gang hit stick type tackle we know they put a lot of those into the game last year so of course they're going to be adding more of those to the game this year as well and here we're going to have a bunch of just running animations breaking tackles spinning out of tackles juking out defenders i know sometimes people see this and they get aggravated and they say oh i just don't like this in the game this is going to make me mad when defenders are missing tackles or when the the jukes or the spins play out and i feel like i just can't make the tackle but in reality these things happen in the nfl players tackle poorly and lazily in the nfl every single Sunday I had to watch my team miss a million tackles last year or just make poor attempts at tackling or get faked out and obviously it can be annoying when it does happen to you in a video game but you need those things to play out in a video game because they play out in real football yeah some of these right here you would say these are poor tackle attempts or these are defenders just not tackling properly but the thing is in the NFL the best players in the world do this all the time people are lazy people don't actually wrap up people complain about their team missing tackles every single Sunday because yes you have the good players that are going to tackle properly more often than not but you have a bunch of players that just get faked out that go high when they should go low that don't wrap up they just try to dive at players and that's why you see so many big plays and so many broken tackles and people getting faked out so I don't really have a problem with it in the game the only issue in terms of Madden is sometimes with these animations in order for them to kind of play out this way there's often times where it feels like you're not in control of what's happening you feel like that maybe Maybe your defender kind of gets pulled into a canned animation right before you click onto them and thus if you're just like that half second late or that millisecond late you kind of don't have the ability to make the tackle yourself that's really the only issue with it but i mean when it comes to a video game i think you know there's a fine line with that stuff and sometimes it's really hard to you know have the perfect balance there here's some more animations with uh catches and hits after the catch and tackles after a catch you're gonna see some where they break the tackle after the catch and keep going and again these are things that when it happens to you when you're playing the game like right here it's gonna aggravate you where they're breaking the tackle and running for a big play but again in the nfl we see these things happen every Sunday we see from all the games that are played there's going to be a couple big plays where the guy catches the ball somebody makes a poor tackle attempt he just bounces off the receiver I mean we see guys like Jamar Chase and DK Metcalf especially the bigger guys AJ Brown they do this all the time Debo Samuel in the open field people try to tackle them and they just bounce off of them and then they keep going and they turn a five to ten yard play into a huge touchdown so again I don't really have a problem with them motion capturing animations like that because that is football again the problem with Madden is kind of how they play out or the biggest thing with Madden sometimes is you see certain ones play out way too often you'll see something play out multiple times a game that typically in an average game you might not see that catch 
or that broken tackle type animation like in a real life setting you wouldn't see it multiple times a game so that's something i think ea really can work on is making sure they have more animations and you're not seeing the same ones play out too often because we've always seen there's like those few animations every year that they seem to trigger more often than others and that's when it gets annoying and that's when it gets a little unrealistic here just looks like a new hit stick animation from the side just kind of blowing a guy up they've been adding a lot of hit stick animations over the last few years that's something they try to kind of update it seems like a little more often because people like the hit stick people like big hits so last couple of years they've definitely been adding more of those here are some more kind of hit stick mid-air tackles you're gonna see i guess people maybe diving for catches or diving with the ball for the pylon you'll see or just runners kind of getting caught in mid-air again some of these if they play out a little too often they can look a little unrealistic it can look a bit much at times but these are things you see happen in the nfl it's just about how ea can balance it to where you're not seeing you know every time somebody dives they're getting hit the same way like every time somebody dives they shouldn't get hit every time somebody goes for a catch if there's somebody near him it shouldn't always be a mid-air collision but i like that they're putting these types of things in the game it's just balance them out now here there's a new gritty celebration we've seen a lot of people do this last year where they kind of fake the hamstring injury this is another area i think that you know i don't mind the celebrations in the game it's a big part of the nfl i know some people will say you know there's way more important things but if you're motion capturing this is kind of part of it you know you're going to get a few new celebrations especially you don't want to see the same ones play out all the time there's a million different ways to do the gritty so why not add more and this was kind of a popular one last year the one thing i will say is i think when it comes to some of the certain dances maybe they could get some better guys to do it um i don't really have too much of a problem with this gritty that one's okay but this one right here kind of like the little uzi dance i know he didn't come up with it but he's kind of the most known for the dance like this one it, it just it, i mean it, it's okay but it, it could be better you know and i think like this middle one right here that they showed a quick clip of that kind of looks more like the jason kelsey one maybe that's what they were going for for like the bigger guys you know the guys that don't move as fluid when they celebrate maybe maybe they're capturing multiple ones there but just in general i think there's guys that could probably motion capture this a little better that have a little bit more rhythm it, i like that they're putting them in the game though because you see nfl players players do this I, I love when things are represented even if it is something like a celebration here they're adding the sturdy celebration which is, is another cool one again I think they maybe could have got someone a little better to motion capture it I mean it's not it's not the best sturdy I've ever seen I, I'll just say that I've seen people you know really kill this dance and, and this is kind of a, a mediocre version of it but again I mean I'd rather it be in the game than not I think anything that's popular that NFL players are doing that should be represented in the game the thing I hate is when they leave like some of the super old celebrations in the game like when Odell still does the whip dance like nobody does that anymore I like for them to refresh things take the old stuff out take out some of the celebrations that are corny and whack like this one right here not the biggest fan of it it's whatever I mean this one it, it's okay I guess but it, it's not one of my favorite ones I like when they actually take the real dances people are doing the gritty getting sturdy you know the little Uzi dance I don't know what it's called you know forgive me I'm not from Philly don't know what it's called but I like when they put that stuff in the game and here it looks like they added a new team celebration as well this one this one's a little is a little much i don't really think you see nfl teams get this crazy with the celebrations but again i'm never gonna be against new things in the game things that make the game feel fresh even when it's small things like this a bunch of small things add up if you add 20 to 30 small things that adds up and it makes the game feel like something new it doesn't feel like you're playing the same game you're seeing different things play out different animations different celebrations different things with presentation so i'm never gonna be against them doing that now if you want to know more about madden 24 the little bit that we do know about it so far you can check out this video right here on the screen